Hi guys, I'm Richard Beck and this is my Langmuir Systems MR1. This is a really quick down and dirty video. Um, when I bought this, I did a deep dive into, you know, everything I could learn about this while it was on its way. So I went to the Langmuir Systems forums, I went to YouTube and watched every video I could find on this machine. And it turns out there was one common issue that kept coming up over and over and over. Overall, people were unsatisfied with the factory drain system that comes on the MR1. So, I've got a great fix for this, and here it is. So what I did is I, very, very simple, just put a shower drain right there in the back. So, the easiest thing to do is to make sure that you do this before you put the epoxy because then you'll mess your epoxy up and you might not get a good seal all the way around. Um, I'm going to show you how that works. Also, you can see, you know, the factory drains, you know, they, they're they small and they get kind of plugged. So this isn't just a drain. You'll, you'll notice, well, wow, Richard, all the shavings and chips can go right through that hole. It's okay. Check this out. So this is what we got. It comes out and then it goes in to this clear tote and then there's a hole right there and it overflows into here and the nice thing about uh this is you can see the chips settle at the bottom and i can see exactly how full it is and when it fills up with chips i'll just empty it now a lot of the chips stay up above but some of them fall down through here so let me turn this on and i'll show you exactly how it functions all right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the coolant on. And you can see, got good flow. And right off the bat, it's already starting to go down the drain. I'm gonna turn the spindle on just so I can fling it all over. So we're gonna to go to manual. So now the spindle is spinning. And you can see the drain working. Let's check out underneath. And that's two inch PVC pipe. And I have a three quarter hole and it just comes out and goes right back in. So yeah, um, I'm really happy with this idea. I can't take credit for it. A lot of you guys have recommended this, but I know some of my followers, subscribers, are heavily considering an MR1, and because of that, I wanted to make sure I made this video so you guys can be fully informed because this is something you want to do during the build. This is not something you want to try to do after the build. Now, I actually got behind the eight ball. I had to drill through the concrete with a hole saw because I didn't commit to this idea soon enough. But there were enough guys who had been there, done that, who convinced me that I really, really needed to add something back there. Now. I hear rumors, Langmuir Systems is working on a prototype. So maybe by the time you buy yours, a drain like that will be standard. But if not, go ahead, pick yourself up a typical shower drain. And uh, yeah, and check this out. There's your uh, factory drains. There's about, I don't know, a quarter inch of coolant on top of that. And it's going down extremely slowly. This one over here. Same thing, going down very slowly. I imagine if I didn't have that drain, this thing would start to fill up. And uh, hopefully your seams are, you know, sealed. Otherwise, that'd be a problem. So overall, I'm gonna have a lot more content on this machine. I just got it, um, just hooked up the flood coolant tonight. I do have uh, my base plate machined. But I'm going to start doing a lot of work on this, and I'm going to bring you guys the information. Also, see how it's super lit up? This is not how your machine will be. 
I got a light there, pick that up at Harbor Freight. This is what your machine will be like if you don't get some extra light. So you can see quite a bit darker. Let's flip the light on again. So I'm really happy about the light up there. Since there's not a top, it's just a four foot light. And I have that, you know, spanning the top. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and select the notifications. Also, if you got anything valuable out of this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out and motivates me to bring you more content like this because it shows that it's liked. So thanks for watching. I will see you later.